What's up, YouTube? My name is Batman, and in a couple days here, uh, I believe they are. I be, uh, this morning they released it for the PS3, but 360 it's going to be either today or tomorrow, later today or tomorrow. Uh, their Treyarch is releasing their first patch for Black Ops 2, right? They are going to tweak with pretty much all the weapons in the game. Uh, the SMGs are going to have increased hip fire recoil, uh, reduced bullet penetration. They're going to increase the hip fire spread from 4.75 to 5. Uh, assault rifles are going to have, you know, uh, increased recoil. Uh, the XM8 is going to have a reduced lethal range from 250 to 50 inches. Uh, sniper rifles are going to have increased hip fire spread. Shotguns, the uh, R870 is getting a reduced one hit kill range by 45 inches. And, you know, I'm happy, I'm happy that, uh, that they're responding to the game, that they're finding little things and fixing them. Although I will say that, you know, these little minor fixes like increasing a hip fire spread from 4.75 4 to 5, I don't think that makes much of a difference in game. I don't think people are going to notice that. It's kind of like how in, uh, in Black Ops 1 when they, you know, nerfed the FAMAS and it was still obviously the best gun in the game. And they forgot to nerf the... Uh, what do you call it, the AUG H-bar, or just the AUG, you know, these, they're, they're giving us all these little tweaks to the game, but for starters, it seems like they're so minuscule that they're going to hardly be noticeable. It almost feels like they're releasing the patch just to say, hey, look, we released this patch. Um, you know, they say, I know people talk about Treyarch responding to the community, you know, I'm, I consider myself a part of that community, I'm on YouTube, I'm on the forums, I don't see people complaining about uh, you know, the max hip fire spread. And the one thing this patch ignores completely that I've not heard anything about really from Treyarch is the lag compensation. And that is the number one complaint that I have heard from the Call of Duty community. And so, you know, if Treyarch isn't going to respond to that, why should we give them credit for responding to the community? You know, fixing, fixing the hip fire spread, fixing, uh, you know, all this other silliness, this increasing hip fire range for the sniper rifles. Um, why is this their top priority? Why isn't lag compensation their number one priority? That's the number one complaint in the community right now, right? That, that, that nonsense where you shoot a guy first, he kills you, you watch on the kill cam, you didn't even fire bullets. That nonsense where you're always half a second behind the enemy in every gunfight. Why aren't they fixing that? Why haven't they talked about that? Why aren't we hearing anything about that? You know, this patch, like, I know people are going to give Treyarch credit, like they always do, for releasing a patch, but what's, I don't care about this patch. I don't think anybody cares about this patch, you know? And again, you know, I'm sure there's some people who, you know, maybe have said the, the, the bullet penetration for SMGs is nonsense. I'm sure a couple people, not necessarily a couple of people, I'm sure some chunks of the Call of Duty population have had some frustration with, you know, little bits and pieces of each gun. Just as it always is and always will be in Call of Duty, there will always be guns that piss you off, um, and there will always be instances in which you get killed in a way that seems cheap, regardless of whether or not it is. And maybe it was, but these aren't, you know, these aren't the, the number one concern of Call of Duty players right now. Certainly not for me, and I don't think for anyone else. I think even the people who are really frustrated about, uh, you know, the the uh, SMGs having too much hip fire tightness, people who are frustrated that the hip fire on the SMGs needs to be widened, even they would agree that the lag compensation is the number one problem right now. And what's most frustrating about it is that it was the same problem for Black Ops One, and it never really got better. And uh, I know it was a problem in the beginning of Modern Warfare 3, but they seemed to fix it uh, after a month or two. And they addressed it immediately. You know, the first every patch that came out, they were, you know, a little bit of in incrementally fixing the lag compensation as time went on. I'm not getting that vibe from Treyarch. So far, they seem to have ignored that 100%. You go on any forums, you go on Huppet forums, you go on the Treyarch forums, you go on, you know, Activision, Call of Duty forums, maybe that's the same thing, the COD Elite forums. In every, in every, you know, Black Ops 2, uh, not thread, but the section where you talk about Black Ops 2 or whatever, you'll find a couple threads of people saying, you know, the lag compensation is bullshit. And it is. It is. Uh, they did it wrong. It's not, it hasn't been properly implemented. It's good in theory. 
every game has it every game needs it they didn't do it correctly they messed up and my what I'm starting to be concerned about what my frustration is at this point is maybe they can't fix it you know maybe they fucked up and they don't have the ability to fix it now you know it's just something that's gonna be there because they have stonewalled on the lag compensation you know I'm I'm active on forums I'm active on YouTube I don't see any response to the community the community is talking about lag compensation Treyarch is talking about hip fire spreads being increased by 0.25 of an inch or whatever you know that's sort of ridiculous and so I'm I'm I really don't want Treyarch to get all this credit for for responding to the community because responding to the community doesn't mean uh, uh, you know releasing patches it means releasing patches that the community wants and needs and has talked about and has complained about and has been very vocal about and they're not doing that they released a guide uh, 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 you know like a like a how to fix your lag things that might be affecting your lag guide and they basically put it all on our end you can find it on I don't know they released it on their forums I believe I know I saw it and you know people were pissed off calling it a slap in the face and it is because uh, you know it was saying things like make sure you have an Ethernet cable try resetting your router uh, uh, you know things like that try making sure other people are logged off the internet and you know admittedly that that will probably help some people but to assume that you know as many people are complaining about it as they are um, to assume that it's all on their end and these aren't you know a lot of the people complaining about this and I'm one of them don't necessarily have bad internet connections uh, you know and and on top of that the people who have complained about this have probably taken steps already to see what they can do to fix it and so Treyarch releases this thing that people have already basically found on their own because they were trying to fix the lag but the the problem is on Treyarch's end it's on their end and for them to imply it's on our end is is a slap in the face and that's what people called it um, on the on the forums where I saw it now this patch coming out I guess I'm happy about it I mean you know I'm I'm pro game balance I guess but the thing is I didn't even you know these are these are problems that I wasn't even looking for a solution to I didn't even know these problems existed until Treyarch brought them up in the patch um, you know I'm sure things like the the hip fire spread of a sniper rifle really matter to people but to those same people I guarantee you the lag compensation matters more and it's insulting that Treyarch isn't taking care of us this is Batman signing out